So yeah, these springs came just from, I don't remember, might have been uh, Tractor Supply or Home Depot. They're just, uh, it's just a regular uh, screen door spring. You know, it was one long spring. I just cut like little sections about maybe two inches off and uh, kept removing loops until the length was just right so that when the, when the trunk is all the way up, the spring is all the way collapsed. And since the wires are thin and there's lots of loops per inch, it means that as it stretches, uh, as it stretches, the wires don't stretch out that much. E each loop doesn't move all that much. So they don't get stretched too far. So trunk sits closed all winter long. Springtime, hit the button, pops right up. Well, I mean, I did have to pull it free to get it unstuck from like, uh, you know, dirt and water and stuff that makes it sticky. But after it's not sticky, pops right up. So, yeah, um, it's a little hard to see if I keep making shadows, but figuring out what loops and things to uh, kink the wire on the end so that it hooks around that arm that was kind of, yeah but still allows the hinge to move that was kind of a pain but it works I got some washers stuffed in there to uh, I don't remember why I did that I think the I think they were wires were jamming on each other. So that's it. And I just spray the springs with um, with uh, fluid film just to keep them uh, keep them from getting all oxidized. It's just like you know little rust prohibitor. That's all. That's it. The light mod is just strips of. You're not going to be able to see it. The light's going to just wash out the lights themselves. The light mod is just strips of. Um, you can buy these lights in like 20 foot roll. It's, and then you just cut off however long you want in little uh, chunks of three lights each. And then I ran the wires in here on both sides of this thing so that the wire doesn't go across, the wire doesn't, uh, uh, the latch doesn't hurt the wires. So they just come right along this, right along this, and then down in here they're joined. And then it just goes down into, um, right through the normal boot. And uh, goes through the normal boot. Um, uh, there you go. Normal boot goes, oh yeah, straight down like that. And you can't see, but it's over here. Comes straight down. Comes in across the bottom there. To. The factory light and then for the factory light I replaced the factory light with an LED light and the LED light is actually a little circuit board so it was possible to solder wires to the back of the circuit board and it's removable. I mean, I you know, if the light burns out. I, I you know, I put I put removable plugs on. But so 
it was possible to just solder wires right to the light so that um, I don't have to I didn't have to touch the car the factory wiring the factory wiring that powers the socket is just original and untouched because I'm just tapping a light not tapping the wiring That's it.